I just made the funniest mashed potato video. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. You should have been there. You were almost there. I did the whole video and then I went to stop the video and learned I never started it. <laughs> okay, I found another reason to use the Instapot. Oh yeah, Instapot. She's my best friend, Instapot. Mm -mm. You know, I need to call up Instapot and ask them to pay me to do all these videos because I could totally use the money. All right, are you obsessed like me? Or do you try to find every reason you can to put something in the Instapot to cook dinner? I mean, that's me. Every meal, I'm like, pretty much every night, I go, okay, what are we going to have for dinner? And can I put it in the Instapot? Should I slow cook it or should I pressure cook it? Hmm, I don't know. Seriously. Yeah, you do that too? High five. Okay, so last night I wanted to make mashed potatoes for the kiddos, and I thought, how can I put this in the Instapot? Surely I can. I don't need to do the stovetop thing. So I put it in the Instapot, and it turned out... <laughs> Let me show you what I did. Okay, so I took the equivalent of about five russet potatoes, cut them up into like big old chunks, one and a half inches, maybe two inches. When you're pressure cooking... Um, the amount of potato here doesn't really make much of a difference whether you're using four or five potatoes. But what is important is that you use at least one cup of liquid because you need one cup of water to get that pressure up to cook those potatoes just right. And then get the lid on, make sure the venting pipe is set to pressure, hit the manual button, which automatically kicks it into high pressure, and then use the minus key to adjust it down to three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. And then you need to do quick release to stop the cook the cooking. So you just have to take that vent pipe and turn it to venting, which it says that on the handle, but you can't see that from here. I mean, it says that on the lid. And then let that uh, pressure escape out of that vent pipe, which takes about a minute. Drain off the water, because there'll be a little bit. And then, check this out. I have a Breville all-in-one food processors processing system and with it comes an immersion blender with a potato wand thing this and this is a beautiful beautiful toy i love it she's so much fun i this i use this to cream my potatoes every time you got to get one breville all-in-one food processor it's like a whole bunch of stuff all in one it's totally awesome so I just use this to uh, run it around the mashed potatoes and get them all smooth. You can make the texture of the potatoes three different ways. Rustic, smooth, and creamy. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I just pop the motor off, and then that's a little extra motor attachment, and I pop that off. And then I'm just knocking off the mashed potato. And there's very little mashed potato waste here. And you saw I just kind of stuck my thumb through, and I, those two pieces come apart, and I knock the potato off that. And then to get the, sec the second piece uh, cleaned, it just takes a spoon or a spatula. But a spoon works just fine. And you just basically, you know, I just scrape the potato off. Takes just a second. Now, a good point here, when you do get one of these, just take a moment, step aside, clean this thing with hot water right away. Because if you don't, all the starchiness from the potato gets stuck on the wall and it gets a little harder to clean. But... When it's hot like this and you've just used it, it's really easy to clean with hot water. Okay, and then you'll see here I'm just adding about one teaspoon of salt and then three-fourths to one cup of hot, unsweetened, plain soy milk. Now, I, I kind of work it as I go. I always heat up about a, a cup's worth of hot milk and then non-dairy milk and then stir that in. And I just keep adding until it's the creamy consistency that my family loves which they like theirs really smooth and creamy. There's no butter or anything like that. When you get enough milk in your mashed potatoes, you don't need the butter. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. So good. All right, there you have it. Mashed potatoes cooked in the Instapot. You're welcome.